messing with the fate. All right guys, UB Plus have sent me a couple of brand new speakers. This is the S1 Circle, and I'm really excited to try these out. I've reviewed one of their previous speakers, the DB1 Double Bass. It was one of the best sounding speakers I've had, so I'm very confident that the quality on these brand new S1 Circles are going to be great. All of the chapters about this video are linked down below in the timeline, so make sure to check out all of them if you wanna skip through any particular part. Let's go ahead and start with the unboxing. We'll run into the design, the specifications, and then we'll see how they sound. So let's get straight into it. Now the S1 Circle is currently launched on Indiegogo, so the crowdfunding campaign is now live at the time of this video. Take a look at the description if you want to find out more of the information and key specifications and capabilities about what this can do. But once this does go live, it will retail around $229. Now they also come in six different colors. I have two of them here. One of them is the Siesta Orange and the other one is a Carbon Black. Of course, you can choose any one of these to match your environment. And I just like the wide variety of nice colors, which you can very nicely display all around the house. Some of the key highlights down here below, it's got about 20 hours of playback time on the three 2,500 milliamp hour battery packs that are installed inside this. It is TWS, IPX5 water resistance, and we'll talk about all of these later in this video. Inside the box, you have three things, the quick start guide, a beige leather strap, which we will connect to the speaker in a second, and a USB-C charging cable. So let's take a look at the design. I really like this vibrant orange color. You can see the carbon black, it also looks very elegant and very minimal. So having this combination of black and orange, I think it is a very nice combo. Just remember that you can also pair these speakers together into TWS mode, and you can even have up to eight of these to go into matrix mode if you want to sync them all up and maybe for a large haul or a special event. Let's dive in a little bit more about the design. I'll just take the Siesta orange one. You can see very nice UB plus metallic logo there, and you have this kind of rubberized strip with all of the controls on there. If you look closely, you also have a microphone button there. This also has an internal mic, which I'm also going to be testing, which I think is great. So you can actually use this as a microphone and speaker combo when you want to take calls with it, maybe on your laptop for remote Zoom meetings. Then you also have the plus and minus volume buttons, a power button in the middle, which you can also use to go into pairing mode. Then you also have the TWS button to switch to that. You also have the S1 circle emblem on this metallic little hinge there where you'll be able to add the strap. Then you also have two passive radiators that will give you high base. You can see they come in there. If you look closely, you can actually see behind the fabric, the mesh from here where the speakers are. But in addition to that, this also has 360 degree surround speaker immersive audio. So no matter what side you listen to it from, you can actually hear crystal clear audio from pretty much every angle, which is why the name circle comes into play. Then you also have a rubberized base at the bottom that you can place this on. Then when you open up the back, you have yourself the USB-C port to charge up and an auxiliary input. So if you want to connect it to an external source, maybe a TV or something else to play the audio directly from this speaker, you can connect it to this jack here. Weight wise is actually pretty light. I don't think it's going to be a problem when you're gonna take this with you in various different places to move it around, to carry it with you in your backpack maybe if you wanna take it to the park, then it's very easy to do that. Let's go ahead and just put the strap on there. And by the way, there is a different color strap for each of the different colored speakers. So a black one for the carbon. Then you've got this nice beige one for the orange. Okay, so let's slot this in. So just make sure this removable part here is already inside. Put it through the slot when you take that out. Pull this through the other strap before you connect it onto the little knob, just to make sure it is very tight. So you push that down and then you push this through. And there we go, quick and easy. Now you have the carry strap in place. Okay, so now let's take a look at connecting and pairing this to your phone. You can do the same thing with your laptop as well, but I really wanted to showcase the UB Plus Seek app, which is very convenient to connect this into TWS mode. So let's go ahead and turn both of these on.
The first time you turn them on, they will go into pairing mode and then you go into your phone's Bluetooth settings. You'll find them there listed as UB plus UFO S1 and then a code name for the variation of the color theme. Connected. Connected. There you go, both are connected. So if you go into UB plus seek, you'll see a connection there. It's very quick and easy to maybe do various different things. So if you swipe up, you can see where the connection is. You can also play and go to the next track. You can also change the volume from here. So all the basic settings on the top right, you can actually change the name of the device if you'd like to. But just on the top left, you have this icon. When you click in there, you will see the connection for both of the devices. So all you need to do is select both of them. Right now, take a look at the button at the bottom, which is okay. Once you hit the second one, that button now goes into TWS. So if you press this, TWS, you get the confirmation and now Left both channel. of them, right channel, both of them are now connected to TWS mode. And every time I play audio, it will come directly from both of these together at the same time. You also heard left channel and right channel. So that's a very quick and convenient way to set up the different channels. If you wanted to maybe use stereo mode and disperse audio from each channel separately. So let's go ahead and see how both of these sound. Now, just before I go ahead and play an audio sample from my Spotify, these have two 20 watt speakers, so they are very powerful. They've got very good bass quality in them, so I'm not going to go to max volume. I'll be playing a song around the 50% marks, but hopefully it will give you an idea. I'll try to move it around as well. My shotgun microphone is very sensitive, so it will pick up everything very clearly, and it will give you more of a 360 degree movement of the speaker itself. So you can see that from whichever angle, you can still hear the audio very clearly. So let's go ahead and play a song. Just going to pause it there. This is one of the best sounding quality speakers of this size I've tried, and you know, having their previous. DB1 double bass speaker, which is also very powerful, and you can actually see the radiators bouncing to the bass as well. This is just as good as that quality, and just having this very lightweight, portable, compact size of a speaker, I think the audio sounds really, really good in this. I'm super impressed, which I think, based on its pricing, is valued very well. But now that you've heard how it sounds with some music, I also want to use these speakers as kind of like a soundbar kind of experience with a projector that I've set up in my bedroom. So with my laser TV projector, I was looking for some, you know, surround sound speakers just to enhance from the internal speakers of my projector. So let's go ahead. I set this up and to have them both connected to the single projector, if in case you want to try and do the same thing, just remember that once you've paired it with your phone and you're in TWS mode, then you can actually connect this into pairing mode, either one of the devices, and they will both go into pairing mode together. So if you're already in TWS mode like I am right now, I just need to hold down the power button for a few seconds. When this goes into pairing mode, this will also go into pairing mode because they are paired as one. If you turn this off, in fact, both of them will also turn off because of the TWS mode and that connection that they maintain. Everything you do in one will happen in the other, which I think is a very convenient thing to do. So when I connected it to my projector, I set it into TWS mode. I went into the Bluetooth settings. I found just one of the S1 Circle devices. When it paired, both were paired together. So let's go ahead and look at a sample demo video that I played back on my laser projector, connected to the speakers and see how great they sound.
Be captivated by our brightest self-lit OLED. LG OLED Evo. Light up your world. LG OLED Evo. So how did you find that demo? You know, I played back a few videos. I was just enjoying it so much where I was repositioning the speakers around the room to make it even more surround sound. I left one of the speakers on the TV cabinet itself and then I put one next to my bedside table. So it felt like the audio was coming from various different parts of the room, which just made that audio experience even more immersive. And, you know, I'm really impressed with how easy it is to just reposition it and change the complete audio listening experience that you do get from it. So that is a big win from me. So now let's test out the internal microphone of one of these speakers and see how that sounds if you do want to use this for calls and maybe taking meetings on your laptop. So I'll connect it to Zoom and I'll switch over the microphone to the S1 Circle and see how the audio comes out. Okay, so I fired up my Zoom on my laptop and I've switched over the mic to the S1. So let's go ahead and see how the mic quality is when I play back a recording. So currently I'm just using my shotgun microphone but I'm now going to switch over the audio that you guys are hearing to the S1 Circle. So now I'm talking directly into this Siesta Orange S1 Circle. Just wanted to test out the microphone and see how the audio quality is if I'm actually using this for taking remote meetings. And maybe even if you want to use this for taking phone calls, then that's something that maybe you can do that with your phone as well once it's paired to it. I also want to maybe move this around just to see how the audio is from different angles. So now I've moved it to the back side and I just want to test out to see how the audio comes out and if the microphone is still picking it up from all directions. I think that's quite nice to have on a Bluetooth speaker and generally for myself, I may not use this for an internal microphone to take meeting calls and then things like that. I found my home for this. It's going to be my bedroom connected to my projector just so I can get my home cinematic experience from the audio side even more enhanced. So let me know what you guys think about the internal mic. And if this is something that you are considering to use it as a combo, as a speaker and as a microphone for your laptop and just working remotely, how you guys find that. Now you heard the audio quality there. In my opinion, it wasn't the greatest audio quality and I wouldn't be using this for the internal microphone. The speaker quality is where this shines the most. You know, I really can't find any faults with that. But I see this for someone that wants to use maybe a couple of speakers to set up with their laptop around the house and maybe take remote meetings with and you just want to have a microphone that's better than your laptop microphone then this will do a good enough and a decent job for that so hopefully that gave you an idea on that now let's take a look at some of the use cases that you might want to use this around the house now i did highlight and showcase on the box at the start of this video that this is ipx5 water resistance so you can actually use this maybe if you're going to use it by a swimming pool you can get some water on it it should absolutely be fine but even in the house if you want to take a bath you can have this next to your bathtub and if the water splashes on it or even if it accidentally falls into the bathtub this would still work absolutely fine so having that water rating i think is really important for a speaker that's very portable you can even set this up in your living room as a replacement soundbar. So if you don't have a soundbar and you want to get better speakers for your TV, any TV that's compatible to connect to Bluetooth TWS speakers, then this is a very good option to have and place it on your TV stand and just get a really nice home cinematic audio experience. You can even use it on your desk. So if you want to set up brand new speakers for your laptop and get some nice music when you're listening to it, even when you watch content on your laptop, this will give you a really good set of Bluetooth speakers for your home working. So I think that's really good and you can get the right colors to match the design of your desk and your layout, which I think is really nice. Now I have a home gym and that's based on an orange and blue color theme. And this orange speaker actually fits perfectly in that theme. So I can actually see myself setting this up there and just listening to some music while I'm working out. So if you wanna use this to get some really good music during your workouts, I think that's a really great option. But because it is so portable, if you wanna take this outdoors, maybe to a park where you're having a barbecue or a picnic in your garden, you're having maybe a party, just set up the music and it will be really clear for everyone. Even though you'll have a lot of ambient background noises, they will be able to hear the music very clearly with this speaker. And this is going to be perfect for those summer barbecues. 
So that's it. Hopefully that gave you a very good idea of the capabilities of the UB Plus S1 Circle speakers. Take a look at the link in the description to find out more about the Indiegogo campaign that's crowdfunding right now. At the time of this video, you can probably get some super early bird pricings if you do make a pledge in the crowdfunding. But once this does go live, it will retail around the $229 price mark. But as always, make sure to hit the link to find out the latest pricing information. Make sure to like this video if you enjoy the speakers, the design and the audio quality on this. Make sure to subscribe. I've got plenty of really cool tech gadget reviews coming out almost every week. So hit that button so you don't miss any of those ones. And I will catch you guys at the next one. Take care.